is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavano setting in for Tom O'Brien, and I'm going to start the show by looking at the E-mini S&P. Uh, this is a daily chart going back to the uh, 9th of uh, October. Uh, let's try that again, 9th of August. And here we are into the 24th of September. What we're looking at here, folks, is a perfectly symmetrical head and shoulders pattern. Uh, it has to be a perfect pattern in order to, to be a head and shoulders pattern and by that we mean your left shoulder and your right shoulder. The right shoulder must be lower than the left shoulder if you're bearish, the reverse if you're bullish. The distance between your left shoulder and the head and the head and the right shoulder has to be equal. That makes it a perfectly symmetrical head and shoulders pattern. That's what you base it on. This, this pattern was defined by many people, but it was proven mathematically by Dr. Andrew Lowe from MIT in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. And this is the pattern that he uses and the formula behind it, and that's what we use. So it is a perfectly symmetrical one. We made the 61% retracement in the E-mini S&P yesterday at 54.55. The high was uh, the actual S&P E-mini um, 618 number was 54.53, one and a half points. We then dropped 30 handles. And the $64 question is, if we close above 54.55 in the next 15 minute, 50 minutes, that will tell us that this head and shoulders pattern, uh, not only did it not work, but it's going to lead to something probably very uh, powerful on the upside, if that's the case. But we need to look at all of the indices because, as funny as it may sound, every single index hit the exact price. We're going to look the next at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is the actual index itself. It is not the futures. The E-mini did exactly the same thing. But you'll notice the high yesterday at 34,8673 was eight points higher than the exact Fibonacci number at 8460, 84, excuse me, 34,000. Uh, 864. So it was almost exactly spot on. From there, we broke 300 points, and we've given, we've taken most of that back already today. And again, if we get above that level, that will mean what we're looking for coming here on Monday may not happen because it has to be everything lined up absolutely perfectly with no uh, no leeway on either side. Now, if we look at the Nasdaq, this is the Nasdaq 100. Then you'll notice here, as we look at this pattern, you'll see yesterday again, we hit the exact 61% retracement of the September 7th high. That came in at 15,361. The high of the day was 15,365, four points and something that's valued at 15,000. That is absolutely perfect. And as you can see, it's down only slightly today. And again, if it gets higher, that means that, that what we're looking for on Monday, as far as a down day, most probably will not happen. Now, if we look at the cash S&P market, the SPY, we'll take a look at this and you'll be able to see the same thing. That we went right up to the 61% retracement. Right now, we're up a little bit on the day, but we're not even close to that high that we made on Thursday. And that's the important one to look at. The last one we want to look at, of course, uh, will be the Russell. And we'll bring this up to let you see it here. Russell has been in a weaker market, of course. You'll notice here that we've had lower highs here since uh, June. And actually, since May, actually, is when it's made its high. 
but we did make a perfect 61% retracement uh, yesterday. We were still down on the day in the Russell, so this is another one that's lined up perfectly. Now, the reason why it has to be so perfectly goes back to history and some of the stuff that I've done and studied in the markets over the years. What I'm going to show you now is a chart of the S&P 500 as it existed in the large contract. This is not the E-mini. This is long before the E-mini. This is back in 1987. And if you'll see that red arrow, it's there. That red arrow points to October the 2nd of 1987. The high that you see back here to the left of the arrow, the black arrow, that was August 25th, 1987, when we had a thing in the news that was called Harmonic Convergence. That's where we had five planets all lined up at zero degrees. That only happens once every eight or 9,000 years. And at that point, I thought we would be making a top in the market, and we did. And as you can see here, we broke down sharply uh, from August into uh, the middle of September, and then we had a very, very strong rally. And that's what we're going to talk about next, because we're going to take this red arrow and we're going to blow it up over a chart that came out of my book, Astro Cycles, The Trader's Viewpoint. Sorry for the little plug in there, but there's no other way I can get around it. And if you want to buy the book, just email me, LarryPesavento at gmail.com. Anyway, you'll notice the solar eclipse that had here in September of 1987. And then you see the mark when the far left, far left corner, folks, up at the top, you'll see the Venus is actually trying Uranus. That means that high that you're seeing on that day, Tuesday, October the 2nd, the market was making a perfect 61% retracement. Now, we were doing the same thing in the NASDAQ. And we were doing the same thing uh, in the Russell. And if you will remember that, because it was absolutely perfect, that's the same thing that we have going on today. Yesterday was a Venus opposition, excuse me, Venus conjunction, zero degree Uranus. That's at zero degrees. But it was set up exactly the same setup like we had in 1987. If that's the case, it means next week is going to be the start of something dr dramatic, and I don't know if it's going to be bad or not. I view it as probably one of the best buying opportunities of the fall, would be my guess, because, you know, October is a month that uh, you get to see a lot of lows. And so if you add the 17 days like we did in 1987, that will take you down to October the 8th, which is two weeks from today. So we are thinking, based on what happened in the past, in fact, very few people will be looking at this, because, first of all, the astrology gets people scared, but there's nothing to be scared about, folks. That Venus-Uranus cycle goes around each planet 255 days of the year. If you divide 255, divide it by the number of days in a year, 365, it comes out to 0.618 of the year. So it is a Fibonacci cycle, and that's what we're seeing today, just exactly like we saw in 19. 87 and we'll be right back after the words from our sponsor are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, this is Larry Pesaveno setting in for Tom O'Brien today. And uh, what I'd like to do is to take a look at the most actively traded stock in the world, or certainly one of the most. It is certainly the most widely held. This is the price of Apple. We're looking at it here at around 147 and change today. But the important thing to look at here is you'll notice that we topped, just like the rest of the market, back on September the 7th. The market went from 157 all the way down to uh, $141 a share. And over the last four trading days, all we've been able to do is rally back to the 147, six dollars, which takes it exactly to a 382 retracement of the move. The reason why 382 is important is it is you add 382 to 0.618, and that gives you to one, and that tells you that's the smallest cycle that we look at. And if the market only goes to a 382 and then fails, uh, that is extremely bearish, and that is the possibility that we're looking at here in Apple. Now. This pattern would be broken should we see a price of 148. That would tell us the market has broken the 382 and it still has some more to go to the upside. But right now, after a four day rally and only going to the 382, uh, it doesn't look very good from a technical standpoint. And there's many things in the world that we hear in the news, uh, not just the things that are going on in the uh, South Texas and Mexican border and that kind of stuff, but uh, things that are happening in China with them taking Bitcoin uh, and making it illegal, that might may or may last more than one day. Uh, the cryptos were down about 10% at one time. They've come back about half that way. So some of them are just shaking it off. But there is some news coming out, and the market always reacts to the news, sometimes the exact opposite of what you might think. Now, let's take a look at the most actively traded market in the world that we, every single one of us are evolving around this, and that is interest rates and the Treasury notes. And the reason why the Treasury note here is, you'll look at this long-term weekly chart on the Treasury notes. We have been in a bear market since August. Well, actually, the high was made in February of 2020, and then it made another high in August and September. And if you'll remember, just think about it just a little bit. During that time, all we were hearing was negative interest rates, 
negative interest rates, negative interest rates. And as you can see, the notes went from 140 all the way down to 130. And folks, for the market to do that for Treasury notes is no small feat because this is the largest traded contract of any commodity that we trade. Open interest is close to 7 million compared to the E-mini S&P, which is about 2.4 million. Treasury bonds, about 3.5 million. Gold, maybe 800,000. So you can see how important this is. This is how they determine the interest rates on your credit card, your car loan, the mortgage on your house, and any other incidental things that you use where you use credit is based on how these treasury notes and treasury bonds are traded. But mainly treasury notes will determine the interest. The treasury bonds, which is the 30-year contract, that's used for investment purposes. They, they sell to foreign countries. In the past, Japan and uh, China have been our largest purchasers of treasury bonds, but that has changed over the last few years. Now, if treasury notes are going to higher interest rates, that means that the bond market is also most probably going to higher interest rates. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the bond market just to show you what it looks like compared to the treasury notes. And it'll take me one second to get it up here, and then you'll be able to see it, and we'll be able to talk about it a little bit. Here's the, we're gonna do the daily first. This is the December contract. And as you can see here, uh, we are actually higher than the Treasury notes at, at certain times, but we're starting to roll over right now. And as you can see, the last two days, we've had a big move down. That means the notes have gone up in the interest rates, and also Treasury bonds have gone up in interest rates. That means the bonds are going lower. Folks, if they're going to pass this legislation for $3.45 trillion, whatever it happens to be, the only way that the United States government is able to pay for this is for them to print money. They go to the Federal Reserve for that, and what they do is they print Treasury notes and Treasury bonds, sell them back to the U.S. Treasury, and then what happens is they are sold to the public at whatever interest rate can be gained to get rid of these bonds. So if you've got a lot of bonds to sell and you want some to buy them, the only way you're going to get them sold is to entice them with a higher interest rates, i.e. lower bond prices. No one's talking about, at least in the, <laughs> in the United States and some other countries, that uh, we're so far from zero interest rates that it's ridiculous because rates are going higher. So in order to sell a large quantity of bonds, you have to lower the treasury bond itself because when you lower the bond, that means the rate goes up and then you still get the capital on the bonds, not as much as you did before, but you still get them sold. And that's the problem. Now you see that at, when you stop and think of the bond market, folks, being six to 10 times larger than the futures and the, the stock exchange bonds and the stock market, uh, and I'm not talking about corporate bonds here. I'm talking about U U.S. Treasuries. The corporate bonds are in worse shape than the, uh, than the Treasury bonds because people are out there searching for yield. They're begging for yield. Anything they can do to get a yield. That is contrary to what you should think of as an investor. Bernard Baruch, the, the great speculator who wrote his autobiography called My Own Story in the 1930s, he was J.P. Morgan's not only his personal friend, but a confidant that helped him to determine what the relationships of some of these things should be with interest rates as they, as they apply to the markets. And he was a genius at it. His, one of his, his, in his book, My Own Story, there are a couple quotes in there that have stayed with me my whole life. And number one is, don't be concerned on the return on your money. Be concerned on the return of your money. In other words, Go to the best place where you can be sure to get your capital back. That's why people will buy U.S. Treasury bonds and Treasury notes because the government has never defaulted, even though you might not get the same capital. In other words, if you buy a bond for, say, 160 and it goes down to 140, yes, you do get a higher interest rate, but your capital on that bond has lost 13 or 14 percent. And that's what you don't want to have happen. But the only way they can sell these, in my opinion, is to lower the price of the bond, i.e. higher interest rates. Speculators will see, ha, higher interest rate on a AAA bond. 
that tells me, yes, I can do that. But remember, these are 30-year bonds. No one knows where interest rates are going to be 30 years from now. Just think where we were back in 1980. Those same bonds, the folks that are trading today for 160, when I first started trading the bonds, when they became available in 1972, they were available, folks, at $65 per for 100, per 100, in other words, a $10,000 bond you could buy for 6,500. That means the interest rate on it was around 10 or 11% because inflation was 10 or 11%. Let's take a little break. 877 927 6648. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. Uh, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. I have posted the long term weekly chart of Treasury bonds over the last four years. You can see the big top that was made several years ago. We had a big break, i.e. Uh, lower interest rates for a while. Then we've had this consolidation, but the consolidation has taken its toll because we've only able to rally the bonds a very, very shallow amount, only a 38% retracement. Uh, and as you can see, this market is heading lower, i.e. higher bond 
excuse me, lower bond prices, higher interest rates. That's the only way they're going to be able to fund this stuff, folks. So get ready. It's going to be accompanied with some transitory inflation along the way, but we're seeing massive deflation in certain things, like we've seen a huge drop here in silver over the last uh, five or six weeks. Uh, gold has also been weak, and uh, platinum has also been weak, and so is copper. These are not inflationary, but that's for the market to decide what's going to happen. Now, one of the questions that someone's posed to us today is to take a look if we could at the uh, various FANG stocks because they're so very important. The first one we're going to look at here is Netflix. And as you can see by that big red ABCD pattern that completed up there at 610, that completed a major pattern. And that means this stock should be topping out, which it has so far. We've gone from 615 all the way down to 570 and are able to rally back to $600 now trading at around 589. So that is still a bullish pattern, but it's showing signs that it's made a major top. And all we could be looking at now here is a little uh, retracement. And we're seeing this in so many of these. That's one of the reasons why we want to be uh, looking at it. Now I'm going to bring up another chart and you're going to have to use your imagination here. Because if you'll remember the, when we talked about a head and shoulders pattern, with the S&P, the futures. Now what we're gonna be looking at here is Amazon. And if you will look at the middle of the chart there where it says uh, May the 1st, you'll see where it says double top. And then you see the market make a high in July and then a retracement back here on September 7th. That is a perfect symmetrical head and shoulders pattern. That's exactly what we're looking at in the E-mini S&P right now unless the highs of last night were taken out, then we have to reassess that this was not a head and shoulders pattern. But anything below 44.55 in the E-mini S&P here in the next 25 minutes will tell us, yes, that is a head and shoulders pattern, and we're most probably getting ready to go lower. Now, you'll notice with Amazon, it was the pattern came in at 35.50. Well, the market went, dropped 500 points well, that 500-point retracement was a perfect 61% retracement of the low that we made back on August the 31st, 23rd, excuse me, August 23rd. So that's how you try to fit these numbers together to match up what they're supposed to look like. But there's certain rules that have to be followed in technical analysis. If you're looking at a head and shoulders pattern, that must be symmetrical. In other, the distance between the shoulder and the head and the head and shoulder should be very close, within 5%. And not only that, but if you're bearish, the right shoulder should be equal or lower than the left shoulder. If you're bullish, it's just the opposite. So let's take a couple of other ones to take a look at. We've already looked at Apple. That's already done. Let's take a look at Google because that has been the one that has been one of the strongest along with Microsoft. So we'll get up here and take a quick look at it. and. Uh, we don't really see a major topping pattern here. The fact that we were able to make a correction, uh, the one that we made here back on Monday was an exact 78% retracement of the low on the 23rd of April. And now what we've done is over the past month is we've made three lower tops. So that's the first sign here that Google could be getting ready for a move to the downside. Because this is so important, I'm going to draw it in and let you look at it from a technical point of view. When you put the Fibonacci numbers in with it, you'll see that the high that we were making here uh, just the other day did not make a 61% retracement. That tells us that this market is actually weakening a little bit. Now, it might make it today because that number is 28,600, and we closed yesterday at 28,470. 47. So if Google is up just a little bit, it shouldn't get any higher than 2681. Here we're going to let you do the homework. And as Jim Twentyman has always said, defy human nature, do the work yourself. Go check on the high of Google today and see if it made 2861. If it did not, it's completed a retracement pattern. This one known as a 135, where we have three lower tops. And you notice it's selling at that level. You don't have to risk more than about $10 in a stock that's trading for 2800 
that is a very, very small risk. Okay, now we're going to take a look at one of everybody loves this one. I don't particularly because I don't trust anybody that has a car that has that you can't hear, and that's the main thing that uh, we're worried about here. If we take a quick look here, by the way, if you do have a question, folks, it's 877-927-6648, and Dan is telling us that the high today is 28.55. Dan, we're looking for six points higher at 28.61. And if we don't get any higher than that, it's worth a sale. Let's take a look now at the Tesla. Uh, you'll notice Tesla is taking out last week's high. We are also making a uh, just a little above the 61% retracement of that. So this could be a valid breakout here in Tesla at the 769 level. And uh, if it stops at that point, that's where you have to be really careful because this market, even though it is uh, going up strongly, it is much weaker than market. Remember, it made its high way back on March 31st when we had the head and shoulders pattern uh, that you can see on the left side there. That was another perfectly symmetrical, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And that's where it sets. And what we're looking at right now is that same thing. Is this going to be, you know, a valid breakout? Well, I will tell you this, boys and girls, we are going to know that on Monday. And that's the, the key to watching it. So uh, with this late in the day, with 20 minutes to go in the trading, my assumption is it's going to close right near the high. And that'll give us some breathing room, you know, coming in on Monday. Now, we're going to take a look here at Softy here. Microsoft, which even though it's not a, a uh, FANG stock, it's uh, one of the largest, of course, in the index, and it is, affects the market as much as, as anything. And we'll take a, a little gander at it here, if you'll give me one second. You'll bring it up here. Uh, I've just been informed by Al, our technician here at uh, TFNN, that one line has just opened up. So if you hurry and call in and ask your question, you'll be able to do it because everybody else has been waiting around to get through and they've just not been able to do it. Now here is a stock that everybody hears about on the news. It's almost impossible. It's, it's more pos popular than Twitter. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien, and I believe we have Jeff from Philly on the line. Are you there, Jeff? Yes. Hi, Larry. How are you? I'm very good. And your question is, what are the chances that a trading day can become a trending day? Uh, not exactly. Uh, what I wanted to ask is if you have any uh, ways of determining uh, you know, when a day will be a trending day. Like we just had one yes. yesterday, Thursday. Yes. And it, I, I would, you know, definitely uh, trade differently if I knew it was going to be a trending day, because I have a lot of, uh, you know, reversal trades, which yes. is ruined. Yes. I, <laughs> I, well, I so maybe understand you that. Have and I have the answer of, for of you, knowing. Jeff. Do you have a pencil and paper handy? Because I'm going to give you the answer right now. <laughs> Those of you that are listening might want to pay attention here. You can always tell a trending day by the end of the day. <laughs> Jeff, um, the real key yeah. to this is if you stop and watch the markets, most of the time the market will open near the high or low of the day about 60 or 70 percent of the time. So if you're looking for a strong trending day, what you want to watch for is to watch for a very wide ranging bar the first hour far above the opening price. And that'll give you your first indication that, yes, the trend is up. And that usually means they've trapped a lot of the short sellers and they're trying to get out of it all day long. Now, remember, you don't see strong trending days very often. And really strong trends like we saw in the stock market over the past uh, you know, year and a half, we've had a lot of those days because the market has been so strong. But in general, if you did statistics over a period of 30 or 40 years, you'll notice that only about 15 or 20 percent of the time do you have a strong trending day. So if you follow technical analysis like, like we do and do a lot of mathematics on it, the first thing you want to look for is once the market opens and gets above that opening price, because the opening price will be near the higher low of the day within, within a 10 percent band here, about 70 percent of the time. That's a huge advantage. Just look at, look at what you're looking at today. Look at the low today. Uh, in the in the Dow Jones, the S and P, the Nasdaq, they open, you know, right after the lows. Now, the reason why is when they open, and you have to do this if you're trading stocks or stock indices. You must use the 9:30 in the morning time frame as your opening price between 9:30 and, and 10 o'clock Eastern time. That will give you your opening range uh, point, and once you break above that, that gives you the first indication that yes, this may be a strong trending day. And if it goes substantially above it in the first hour, uh, the odds increase that it's going to be a strong trending day. Does that answer your question? That is a fantastic answer. Yes, it definitely does. Did, I was a little confused, though. I heard both the uh, opening range of a uh, half hour and one hour. Would, would you recommend one hour to you? No. The, what I usually do and what I when I wrote the book about this stuff John, with John Hill, my mentor, what we did is we took the opening price, the exact tick, that we see, this was years ago, but with the overnight trading, we don't get that anymore. But if you were to take the exact tick at 9.30, wherever the S&P ticks at 9.30 or Dow, whatever it is, 
That's your opening price. That's what you have to go by. But then you want to give it a half an hour because the opening part of the day is amateur hour, Jeff, because people put their you know orders right in on the open, and that's how well the, the brokers don't you know meander the prices or scalp off of it anymore because electronic trading. But after the first half hour, you'll get an indication of what that opening usually is. Sometimes the first tick will be the low. Sometimes you might go down for the first five or six minutes and then go back up. But after the first 30 minutes, you're going to have a pretty good idea of what that opening indication was. And that'll tell you whether that market's trending higher or lower. There's an old easy way to learn this, Jeff, and is if you'll just start checking it yourself, go look at stocks that are really active like Apple or things in the currency markets like the euro, the pound, the yen, the Swiss. You'll be able to see this over and over again. And that it's not 100%. If you're looking for 100%, you've got to go into politics because uh, I don't have anything that's even close to 100%. So you get anywhere near 70%. There's no baseball player that bats 700, and no golfer wins 70% of his tournament. So if you can get close to 60 or 70%, you're going to be just fine. Okay, uh, excellent. Well, thank you very much. That was a very uh, a perfect answer, just what I was looking for. Well, good. I just made it up, but I've made it up so many times over the past 45 years, I know it by heart. <laughs> I've lived it so much that I... I know exactly what to look for. That doesn't mean that I see it every day, but most of the times it's easily pretty easy. This morning in the stocks, you could see it. You had very negative news coming in from China, and the market was due to be sharply lower. We were 25 handles lower in the S&P, and what did it do? It opened only 15 handles lower, and then away it went. It went all the way up, rallied uh, almost 40 handles, uh, went from 10 to 48. And uh, it does very, very uh, well. I haven't seen the last price on it, but it's going to be interesting. Regarding those prices that I talked about today, if they do get, if we make new highs, I'm just checking it right now. We're very close here. We're trading at 44.51. Uh, if we get above that 44.55 here uh, in the next 12 minutes, uh, that will tell us that by golly, this thing has broken. You know the upside uh, that we were possibly looking for. So we haven't seen that happen in some of the other things yet, but it certainly could. But we're, we're not going to do it in the NASDAQ. Well, we could do it in the NASDAQ. In fact, I think, no, we're a little bit away, but it's very close. It's going to close right on the high. Now, to be really bearish, I would have assumed that this would have occurred uh, you know, near the lows of the day uh, coming into Sunday. But you know, you're in a weekend, and you're in a uh, not a holiday uh, atmosphere, but but it's certainly you know not the most active time of the year, which will start in October, uh, October through November. It was one of the most active times of the year and in, in half of December. So uh, we'll watch it on Monday to see uh, the importance on Monday will be very very important because if we take out those highs on Thursday, all of this bearishness has gone away, and uh, we're looking at probably a market that might go up and make. Uh, make another new high here. We could certainly do that because those numbers are very, very important and uh, we have violated them. Uh, we have not violated them yet, but if we take out the highs on Thursday, we certainly would have. Okay. Well, well, I will be biting my nails all weekend. Uh, I used to have nails, but uh, no, I, you know, nothing to be nervous about. There's going to be another market. There's always another train coming down the tracks, Jeff, so remember that. You don't want to get... Uh, you want to love your love your wife and uh, trade your positions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Good advice. All right, well, you thank bet. you very much. You bet. Thanks for calling in, Jeff. Right. Certainly appreciate it. Very interesting question, and uh, those of us that trade uh, very actively, we do watch that opening price. Extreme, extremely important. I want to check the Dow Jones Industrial here, folks. Because we are very, I believe we're very close to taking out the highs of the day. And if we do that with the Dow, it doesn't mean that much to me because it's only, it's only 30 stocks. And I'm not, uh, uh, yes, oh my goodness, we are so close. We are within a heartbeat of doing that. The high we had yesterday was 34,749. And we're trading at 34,708 here with 10 minutes to go. So we could easily do that. But this is going to be interesting if we do that. I'm going to put my uh, alert on to let me know that we're going to have that hit. 
So we're not very far away from some of these things. So we will be uh, paying very, very close attention to these. Take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to, uh, hold on one second. I want to be able to uh, bring up a chart here. Uh, that I think is the most important. Here's the game plan. Uh, this is the pattern that is very, very important. This is the S&P 500. We're seeing this in a lot of different things, uh, but th th this is really a perfect head and shoulders pattern. Uh, right now, we haven't taken out that high on Friday, but uh, I'm expecting, uh, the fact, I would thought that it was going, because we were down 30 handles last night and then rallied up 40 handles, I would think that we were going to go lower, but as I usually guess wrong, I uh, have to wait to revert to the charts. If we're strong on uh, Monday I, or Sunday night or Monday, I will assume this the pattern, well, it would have been breaking because it's perfect. I mean, it just can't be any better. So we cannot take out 44.55. And the last price I saw was uh, 44.51. So remind ourselves of that. These patterns are mathematically uh, proven by Dr. Andrew Lowe in his book of 650 pages. The nine random walk down Wall Street written in 2002. It's the reason why you see so many charts is because he proved that not only do they repeat, but they do have a great deal of predictability 
and that's why they are so very important. But I wanted to share with you, because we do commodities quite a bit here at TFNN, we've had a major bottom form here uh, on uh, natural gas this week. As you can see here uh, on the 21st, we made this uh, beautiful ABCD pattern on Monday. We went sideways for two days in consolidation, and we've had a huge move of well over $4,500 <clears throat> yesterday and today because the market has uh, re regained its strength after being as high as 560 and then dropping $4,000 all the way down to 470. So commodity markets are getting crazy, but that's what we like. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Building wealth trading in the